Here's a zone many of us don't consider when we're fishing for redfish. But in areas like Texas, Northeast Florida, even along the west coast of Florida, there are a lot of jetties, just like this one behind me. And along these jetties, you've got the exposed boulders that you can see, but those boulders come out quite some distance, sometimes 20 yards off what you can see. And the redfish probe around in there looking for crabs and looking for all types of finfish. When I fish this type of topography, most of the time I'm using a lip crankbait in many cases, but when I'm not, I use a heavier jig. We're talking jigs that are three eighths, half an ounce. And what I like to do is make a cast parallel to the jetty, off of it a little bit, and then I like to just reel it until I feel a bump. Then I pop it up real quick and I speed the jig up. But what you're basically wanting to do is just swim the jig slow enough where you're bumping the bottom, bumping the bottom, bumping the bottom, and then reel. Because if you throw it out there along the jetty and you jig and let it go all the way down, jig and let it go all the way down, you're going to lose your share of tackle. So remember, when you're fishing jetties, make cast parallel to the jetty and then just swim that jig. Just swim it. Straight swim it. Slow it down just enough where you start to touch them a little bit and then speed it up. And just do that, speed up and slow down, speed up and slow down, speed up and slow down, and you'll catch redfish. You'll also catch your share of flounder, your share of short grouper, and a few snook if you're in South Florida.